Hey, good afternoon. How is everyone on this rainy Friday? This is Friday Night Treats with Tina, and this is Tina the Keto Coach. How is everyone today? Great to see all of you. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to try to make this one short, quick, simple, and to the point. One thing I try to do is make sure that things are easy for you, no matter what type of um, dietary lifestyle thing that you may be doing for you. I just like to make sure it's easy, something you can go to quickly, run to the store, get, and everything, but still be mindful of a few things which still may take a little time, but then don't feel like you can't enjoy or live a life. And of course, enjoying life is, most of it is about food and eating, right? But those of us that are keto, we definitely want to make sure that we're following the program to make sure we get and experience the best optimal health that we can possible. Yes. So today I want to make keto Italian sub. Yes, you heard me right. You heard me right. I bought some provolone cheese, some pepperoni, some salami. I have some um, turkey breast. And I got some of this Genoa salami also with that. Then I have my um, banana peppers, Kalamata olives. <clears throat> and I still have my particular type of mayonnaise that I like using that doesn't have seed oils in it. Now granted, some of the meat, because it is um, deli style meat that's prepackaged with some, well, you know, some of it did have a few ingredients that are questionable, but you can still have, as long as you don't overdo it. It's not like you're going to be eating Italian sub every day. You know, this is a once in a while thing. And after all, I call this Friday Night Treats with Tina. Because I still want you all to still enjoy your life, enjoy your family, and still have fun. And don't feel like you have to be so regimented while you're still following the ketogenic or even carnivore lifestyle. So first, we're going to go ahead and get started. Of course, when you're keto and carnivore, main thing, make sure you always have parchment paper. For a lot of your recipes, parchment paper is king. So I'm going to cut some of this down on the other side, actually, so I can fit it on this plate. Now, of course, this is a sub, but we're not using a sub roll. Now, there are recipes out there, keto recipes, low-carb recipes out there for different types of breading that you like to use. But sometimes you don't feel like doing all of that. You don't have time. You know, and that's okay. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take four slices of my provolone cheese. And I'm going to lay it out here. You'll see how I'm going to do it. If I can get this open. Boy. <laughs> wow. Okay, it's open. Um, I'm taking four slices. One, and I'm going to show you how I have it lined up on my plate. Two, now I'm going to take, I'm going to take a, yeah, I'll do, I'll do just four. Three, you can do six if you want. Four, or should I do six? What do you think? I think I'll do six this time. So we can have a nice spread. Put my cheese on the side. Because after this, you really won't need any more. And I'm going to stick this in the microwave for a couple seconds. Just under a minute, you know, and everything. That's it. Don't have to be a whole lot of time. Next, I'm going to take my lettuce. Just going to cut a little bit. Still keep an eye on that cheese. Yes, I'm making a mess. See what I mean? This is everyday cooking. You're busy. Something's on TV. You want to watch it. You want to enjoy your friends, family, laugh, joke, hee hee, kiki, -ki, without worry about everything being so regimented. So I'm cutting my lettuce that I want to use on this sandwich. Let me take this cheese out. See, this is quick. See that? See that cheese? 
lay it on the side. I'll put that right there. I already cut my lettuce. Maybe one more piece. And I'm going to cut some tomato. Huh. You know. And if you grow tomatoes and all of that stuff, that's great. I encourage that. The only down part about that is you get an oversupply, which is perfectly fine too, especially for the summertime. So I cut my tomato and I'm going to cut that in half, just little slices. Put all of that on first. And now I'm going to get my provolone cheese. You'll see how this is going to work out. Uh, first I want to add my no um, seed product. This is a mayo. Don't need it so much. This doesn't have any um, seed oils in it. Of course once you learn more you know better. I was using a particular mayo that still had seed oils. I think it had cotton seed oil in it or something. I'm like, nope, we don't need that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this lettuce on here. Some of this tomato. And I'm going to add, I'm going to season this part, some pepper. Put a little pepper on here. As you can see, I like pepper. Yes, I do. <laughs> and of course, you know I love my um, Mrs. This is the garlic one. Now, this isn't going to be perfect looking, but it's absolutely delicious. And you know I like my Kalamata olives. Haven't even put the meat on yet, but you can see how this is going to be. I love my Kalamata olives. That's okay if a little bit of that juice in there gets in there. And I'm going to add my pepper, banana pepper rings. Like I said, just be mindful of some of your ingredients. Make sure it doesn't have any added sugar in it. No added corn syrup, no uh, all kinds of other things. And after, after you get regimented to this type of lifestyle, you kind of know what's good for you you know because sometimes some people can still have this what they call dirty keto and still gain their um, fitness goals some of us can't as you can tell I've been strict keto for a minute some people have to be so strict that they can't even have cheeses so luckily I can do cheese so next the grand finale I'm going to add some of this turkey. This is the oven roasted turkey. I really like the oven roasted a lot. See I'm just going to tear it apart. Pile it on here. Just tear it. Put this on the side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add my this is just hard salami. See? Hard salami. And interestingly enough, in the deli department of my particular grocer, I couldn't, I was looking at the pepperoni, but I did read the ingredients and it had corn syrup and sugar in it. I'm like, what? Why? Then I had to get to my, um, the standard store brand that did not have the um, corn syrup and added sugar to it. Like I said, I try my best to help you all so you can still live, enjoy your Fridays, enjoy your family, enjoy your movie night and all of that stuff. You can still have your own things. And this is the, pepper, the um, sandwich style pepperoni. See, pile of the meat on here. You can have this. Pile in some more pepperoni.
and next is the Genoa, this particular salami. And add as much as you like. If you don't like something, don't add it. Add some other type of meat, but still be mindful of your ingredients. So next, see how that looks? See how that looks? I'm going to take this and just round it off some. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect. When it's in your plate, who cares? And you're going to eat it, who cares? Pile this around. And you can cut it and make it like a salad if you want. So what I'm going to do, I just want to show you all how pretty that looks. Isn't that nice? Look at that. And I'm going to cut it like it's a salad. That's what I'm going to do. Cut this in half. Move it around some. And I'm going to put this in another plate for me so you can see what this looks like. And this is so good. I love it. I'm going to lift one side of this up. And of course, you know I love to eat. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. And I don't know if you can see the inside of that. See that? Am I in front of the camera the right way? And I'm going to cut some of this. Oh, it's delicious. See, this is quick, fast. A couple of commercials. You can still catch a movie. Well, that's right. You can stop it now and just start again. <laughs> or rewind it. Look at this. Mmm. Delicious. You probably can't pick it up by the hand, but that's okay. Maybe I would have bigger provolone, but this is so good. This is absolutely delicious. And one thing you get used to when you're following ketogenic programs, you're going to knife and fork a lot of things. Maybe sometime in the future, mm, I might make this with a nice um, ketogenic roll recipe for you so you can have this. But see, don't let that stop you. If something comes to mind, if you know you're really trying to live this lifestyle, look it up. Follow me. Send me a, send me a question on how to make something or what my suggestions are to making something on this lifestyle. Mm. Yes, this is absolutely delicious. Mm. I find what's what I find so interesting about following this lifestyle despite my what I've my improvements and me and my health and this and that I still find people just find it hard to believe that you can eat this way and still eat meat and be healthier. Not knocking what anybody else does, but I'm the type of person, if something's not working, I'm not going to continue to follow something just because 50 other people do it and one person over here isn't. I'm going to follow that one person if I see and realize that... Um, they're doing some things to improve because I find people just to be a part of the clique or the group, they'll continue to follow things that really aren't conducive to their needs. Matter of fact, they could be detrimental to their health and well-being. I don't understand that. I thought about that as to why I've always been that type of person because I think for the first 11 years of my life, I grew up as an only child and I was always taught to think for yourself got a question about something, look it up. My grandmother would say, go in them encyc encyclopedias or go in the dictionary <laughs> and look it up. That's been the coda of my life. And I find it interesting that, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm not the right um, picture or face that people would expect to do this. 
or um, my thing is I just have your best interest at heart. I just want to see people get healthy and live a quality life and not suffer from food addictions or any, any other possible addictions. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. I don't have any license in anything. The only license I have is a driver's license. I just believe in helping people become their best self. And all of us are a work in progress. You're never going to be perfect. And you don't know how many years you may have on this, on this planet. What you can do is improve the quality of your life if you can to the best of your ability. I'm just here to make sure people have all the tools that they need for the help that they're seeking. But sometimes you got to step out of the box that everybody else went in and go to another. Go Maybe go in a rectangle or a, um, a square or a round circle to find out, well, what are they doing over there? How come this, I, how come this woman's 57 years old and people think she's much younger than that? Yeah. How come she's in menopause and don't have the big belly like most women have? How come she's 57 and she's starting to develop muscle? Yay, yes I am. I want to help you to do the same thing. You know, it's up to you. It's no reason to um, dismiss or disregard me. You know, I'm here to help you. It's up to you. So I just want to invite you. If you got questions, you know, any even suggestions, I'm, I'm here. I'm here for you. You know, so I just want to thank you all for coming in checking out this sub. Of course, you know I'm going to eat the rest of that. No question about it. And I'm going to make another one for my hubby and everything so he can go ahead and enjoy that and stuff. But I just want to say thank you for tuning in. This is Friday Night Treats with Tina and this is Tina the Keto Coach. Thank you all and you all have a fabulous weekend. Love you all. Bye-bye.